The Senate Majority and Minority Leaders are two United States Senators and members of the party leadership of the United States Senate. These leaders serve as the chief Senate spokespeople for the political parties respectively holding the majority and the minority in the United States Senate, and manage and schedule the legislative and executive business of the Senate. They are elected to their positions in the Senate by their respective party caucuses, the Senate Democratic Caucus and the Senate Republican Conference. By rule, the presiding officer gives the majority leader priority in obtaining recognition to speak on the floor of the Senate. The majority leader customarily serves as the chief representative of their party in the Senate, and sometimes even in all of Congress if the House of Representatives and thus the office of Speaker of the House is controlled by the opposition party. The assistant majority and minority leaders of the United States Senate commonly called Senate majority and minority whips are the second ranking members of each party's leadership. The main function of the majority and minority whips is to gather votes on major issues. Because they are the second ranking members of the Senate, if there is no floor leader present, the whip may become acting floor leader. Before 1969, the official titles were Majority Whip and Minority Whip. <laughs> <laughs> Current floor leaders The Senate is currently composed of 51 Republicans, 47 Democrats, and two Independents, both of whom caucus with the Democrats. The current leaders are longtime Senators Mitch McConnell R from Kentucky and Chuck Schumer D from New York. The current assistant leaders, whips are longtime Senators John Cornyn R from Texas and Dick Durbin D from Illinois. History. Democrats began the practice of electing floor leaders in 1920 while they were in the minority. John W. Kern was a Democratic senator from Indiana. While the title was not official, he is considered to be the first Senate party leader from 1913 through 1917 and in turn, the first Senate Democratic leader, while serving concurrently as chairman of the Senate Democratic Caucus. In 1925 the majority at the time Republicans also adopted this language when Charles Curtis became the first official majority leader, although his immediate predecessor Henry Cabot Lodge is considered the first unofficial Senate majority leader. The Constitution designates the Vice President of the United States as President of the United States Senate. The Constitution also calls for a president pro tempore to serve as the leader of the body when the President of the Senate the Vice President is absent. In practice, neither the vice president nor the president pro tempore—customarily the most senior longest -serving senator in the majority party—actually presides over the Senate on a daily basis, that task is given to junior senators of the majority party. Since the vice president may be of a different party than the majority and is not a member subject to discipline, the rules of procedure of the Senate give the presiding officer very little power and none beyond the presiding role. For these reasons, it is the majority leader who, in practice, manages the Senate. This is in contrast to the House of Representatives where the elected Speaker of the House has a great deal of discretionary power and generally presides over votes on bills. <laughs> List of party leaders The Democratic Party first selected a leader in 1920. The Republican Party first formally designated a leader in 1925. See also Party leaders of the United States House of Representatives President pro tempore of the United States Senate Vice President of the United States President of the United States Senate Party divisions of United States Congresses List of political parties in the United States Notes External links Majority and minority leaders and party whips, via Senate. Republican majority Democratic minority